back with the Opie and Anthony show. Do we want to razzle dazzle? Do we want to do Big Kev's really interesting celebrity interviews? What do you want to do? What do you I, want to do? Well, we got Big. We could probably do both. We got Big Kev here. I mean, uh, right. I mean it's very yeah. rare to get the actual the interviewer in studio That's when the true. riveting interviews are being played. And these are big celebrities. I don't think they should wait. Absolutely. These interviews. But Kev planet? doesn't fuck around with his interviews. I mean, he could take... Kev has a gift. He could take any celebrity and just make them seem inane. <laughs> no offense. No, n none taken, I'm sure, right? No, no. Well, the beauty of the interviews are the fact that they're less than two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... He gets in that, another in-depth crap that some guys go for. In and out. This is That's Big it. Kev. Do you acknowledge that you're Val Kilmer? Yes, I do. Move All right, on. thank you. Thanks for talking to me today. <laughs> You should do that just for the fuck of it. That would be funny to hear. Okay. Yeah, Time out like a fucking jewelry store robbery. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. Yeah, it's a stopwatch. We got two minutes. So, Sam, tell me about this movie and go. We should get Sam in here because the fireworks could fly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sam, Sam, doesn't, like, Sam, Sam Sam. doesn't like your work there, big kid. Oh, Sam. I I hate, I to, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but uh, Sam's saying you're not that good at I interviewing. Okay. I don't want to upset you, but Sam said that your stuff stinks. You know, and Sam would know. <laughs> Look at this there kid. Apple cheeks. Sweet disposition, you'd think. Look, if it wasn't for me, you would have never known that someone thinks that your interviewing stinks. Fiona Apple body. <laughs> <laughs> That's really is a waif. Those are just ideas that... Popped into oh, my head. Oh, exactly. don't be a pussy! Don't be a pussy! No, it, no we know right, you. Sam. We know you have it in you. Editorializing in the titles of the tracks. Oh, I love what it. you were doing. Exactly. I love it. Maybe. All right. Well, Big Maybe. Kev. How is he a black man, partially black man with lips, like a Vietnamese man? Maybe part uh, Vietnamese <laughs> too. Man, the same as thin lips. But I hear he's all cock. Got to respect this kid. <laughs> he's a good boy. <laughs> oh, have we figured out all of them yet? We what? know we got the black. Black and white. We got the white. We got the American Indian. Right? Yeah, I guess so. Part Jew. Part Jew, I oh, guess. Oh, you got some Jew in you. A little, a little Jew. Jew. A little bit, a little bit, yep. None that I know I of. see it. No. I see it. Mm -hmm. All right, it's there, I guess. <laughs> so uh, young Sam finds Kevin detestable. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Sam, yeah. paraphrasing. What do you mean? <laughs> a lot. What do you mean by this? It says, Kev's been practicing his radio voice. Well, Kev's voice was made fun of uh, the last couple times he presented his interviews. And it mm. sounded like he's sort of getting that broadcast quality to it. Ah, perhaps uh. it's because of his numerous podcasts That's what I was that he's been doing. That's true. Yes. Which Sam is uh, listened to over at BigKevsGeekStuff.com. That's a long name. BigKevsGeekStuff.com. At least it uh, it's memorable. Though. Flows right off the tongue. He, Sam is just better at it than Club Soda Kenny is. Well, no, I'm just saying that his voice seems to have a broadcast <laughs> quality. Well, one would yeah. listen in. <laughs> I'd like to say uh, that. Oh boy, the these, excuse before these interviews. The interview. This Absolutely. is the best part of the big Kev interview <laughs> I, uh, experience. I have a good one this time. Uh, the Tuesday, so this would be Friday and Saturday. I did these interviews, and on Tuesday that week, I had five wisdom teeth out. So I was on the oxycotton all that weekend. Oh, the, drugged out interviews. I was totally. I thought we only had four nice. wisdom teeth. Uh, I had a mutant fifth one growing Ugh. up. In the Are you shitting me? No. I'll bring you the x-ray. Yeah. Wow. Hey, can the boys get, like, all of Big Kev's excuses for next time? Cause, that would yeah, be that good. Because he has an excuse <laughs> before every right, a time we do this segment. It's guys, it was an jet, excuse. Guys, it was it's jet lag. Look, it's fucking sea caucus. Oh, yeah, but I just... Christ. Look, there were a yeah. lot of people that wanted time with the guy, so, you know, I figured I only had a minute... No, hey, that that actually developed so, very nicely into the that was uh, an excuse, though. interviews. You have many excuses. Maybe I we can find them real fast. All right, here we go. Let's so, see what old great white teeth had to uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. five wisdom he pulled teeth. Pulled one Jesus. out and it grew right back. <laughs> <laughs> Sam writes in this first track: Big Kev has a boring conversation with Val Kilmer. Is so it it Val Kilmer. really not interesting <laughs> whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't the questions. <laughs> oh. All right. Uh, well, the questions were terrific, you're saying. I, that's what I'm saying. Uh, Whatever it was. Hey, this is Big Kev. I'm at the National Comic Convention. Oh, I hear a little bit of that <laughs> radio voice. Yeah. The, the, uh, by the way, the national. national. Not this local shit. Big Kev with you. 
National. <laughs> where were the where was this? Big this was, Kev. Uh, right across from Madison Square Garden, the Penn Plaza Pavilion. Okay. Yeah, right. BigAppleCon.com. Oh. Hey, this is Big Kev. I'm at the hey. National hey. Comic Convention. <laughs> And I'm here with Val Kilmer. Val, how are you? Val, not how bad. Are how are you? I'm good. Val, tell us something about déjà vu. Deja vu. I'm having one right now. It's as though we've met before, isn't it? Déjà vu is a really <laughs> great role. He didn't want to play anymore. <laughs> he didn't want to play. He anymore. said, I, "I'm having one right now." You like set him up for, to come back at you and do some kind of déjà vu joke, and he just didn't want to play. Yeah, no. it's a movie about. Yeah. Uh, Oh yeah. I've, he said that, we've met he probably before, said that in it? every interview and you were the first guy to try to take it into like a fucking Laurel and Hardy bit. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin wanted to make a seven episode miniseries out of it. This guy did one line, he's done eight times, and you're like, All right, let's go with that. He's like, No, here's no, the movie's about. No, we will not be friends. You're the interview, I'm the interviewee. <laughs> it's as though we've met before, isn't it? Deja vu's a really <laughs> great movie. <laughs> Totally didn't even acknowledge what you said. There wasn't even like a, a, a nervous titter to make you feel a little more like, like, uh, <laughs> well, anyway, the movie is about just like you weren't even fucking speaking. But let's listen. Why don't we listen closely here again? Having one right now. It's as though we've met before, isn't it? Deja vu is a really <laughs> great. Oh, <laughs> I never heard. I never heard somebody's eyes roll before. <laughs> oh. It's as though we've met before, isn't it? Deja vu is a real. <laughs> Holy shit! Is that great? <laughs> Not an inkling that you were even in the room. No. Oh. It's as though we've met before, isn't it? Deja Vu is a really great roller coaster. It's really fun movie. And uh, Tony Scott just never fails to deliver. And I just heard the other night that Jerry Bruckheimer has amassed $50 billion for his employers. Isn't that crazy? That is crazy. I mean, he really knows what people want to see, and it's it's just a really fun movie. Can you tell us, uh, just from a personal point of view, what it's like being recognized for the great, the, one of the greatest westerns ever? Your performance as Doc Holliday in Tombstone. I had such a great time. My uh, mom lives in Arizona, and I love Kurt Russell, and it's kind of a love story, you know, these two guys that uh, couldn't be more different. Doc um, Holliday um, is a guy that had his life end. He knew he was going to die when longer. he moved out west because he had tuberculosis. And he met a man that was honorable and, yeah, and, okay. and had brothers that he cared about. So he, Doc Holliday found a family. So it's a really moving All story. Right. We about, saw it. About, Jesus. Uh, Ten-year-old movie. Don't tell it in real time, Val. West. It's, a, it's a true story, and that's why people love it, I think. Awesome. That's Val Kilmer here at the National. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Awesome Maybe overstating out. a bit. <laughs> wow. Hey, that's one of my favorite movies. It's one of the best performances I've ever Is seen this? in a film. Yeah, I'm sure yeah. it's and fantastic. I, I was very excited to actually just get him to talk, Good. to say anything about I it. I don't blame you a bit, but awesome, I'm saying may not have been... How about you know, bringing up, up Iceman in Top Gun? Yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. When you clenched your teeth in the locker room. <laughs> I'm surprised you remembered his name. I would have said, awesome. That was melatonin. <laughs> wow, was he a bore. You Val ready? Kilmer is Whoa. a bore. Ready for track two? Bring him on. The Adam West interview. Oh, that Adam cool. West, come on. The original TV Batman. This will be good. That. Uh, no, this is how it's laid all the way. <laughs> How is it labeled? This is this is how it's labeled by Sam here. Adam West talks to Big Kev about his upcoming projects. Listen for Kev's great seg and his attempts at humor. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> that doesn't mean jokes were good, by the way. No. <laughs> when you say listen for someone's attempts at humor, that doesn't mean attempt. put your laughing hat on. Sam, comment. Well, Big Kev breaks the formula here from his minute interviews as he goes about two minutes. Wow. And he really fills that time in depth. <laughs> were the jokes good? Well, no, I no, I didn't find them to be good. Oh, I <laughs> love that. I, I don't love want, that Sam is coming out of his shell. I didn't it's find about time. out of his shell. What a fucking little creep he is. <laughs> Looks like a turtle out of his shell. It certainly does. <laughs> fucking little little red cheeked slug boy just shitting all over <laughs> Big Kev. <laughs>
I think Adam West as a cultural icon deserved two minutes instead. Of well, Adam that. West, uh, very recognizable. Yeah, uh, yeah cultural icon. A poor Batman. man's William Shatner. Yeah, there you go. I want to take a, a bit listen. of a renaissance himself. Here we go. Yeah. Hey, this is Big Kev at the National, and I'm here with superstar TV legend Adam West. Adam, how are you? Pretty good shape, Big Kev. Adam, I hear that you have a bunch of up. Superstar may not be good. Um, <laughs> yeah. Do you realize the last time he was on television, blacks couldn't vote? <laughs> <laughs> That's not true, Jim. Oh, oh all right. Way to, to be literal with some humor. Wow. Okay. Oh, what, now, what are the facts? He's uh, he's actually has a reoccurring role in Family Guy, and he's uh, going on the George Lopez show this year, as as he'll uh, again in the interview. As again, I said, as Jim said, <laughs> from being Batman. To he'll be appearing on the George Lopez show and a cartoon. <laughs> it's a reoccurring character. Back to you, Kev. He's not on TV if he's a reoccurring character. I like the volley Sorry. here, but I think Jimmy just smashed one right down the sideline. Well, when you. he said, "No, I, 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 I hate to disagree," I'm like, <laughs> yep. "Okay, it must be some television roles." Right. Well, he's on a cartoon, and yep. he will be on the George Lopez. show. I bet show. you were and heating he up also, a little bit because he also a, has a game show in development. Uh, What's it called? Who am I? <laughs> <laughs> I suspect. I suspect yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's. After 40 years, it's no longer a hiatus. He's off TV. And Big Kev, I don't want to be picky, but why the uh, distortion in the interview? Uh, I You're a know. broadcaster at this point. I had a technical difficulty there. It sounded loud there. Was it loud? It was. It was loud. So you yeah. might have been talking into the mic a little louder than you should have been overmodulating. Yeah, he was yeah, pinning really. He was pinning I the did. needle. Yeah, that, 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 that'll didn't comp happen. I didn't compensate enough. That'll happen. I'm right. learning. Let's take a listen. Hey, this is Big Kev at the National, and I'm here with superstar TV legend Adam West. Adam, how are you? Pretty good shape, Big Kev. Adam, I hear that you have a bunch of upcoming projects. Can you tell us about some of them? Uh, Big Kev, I got a bunch. Uh, I hear you're going to be doing a reoccurring <laughs> character on the journey. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> what a dull. Way to summarize, shitbox. <laughs> it's an interview, you fucking <laughs> cocksucker. Can you help a, me out here, Hendry? I got a, a bunch. Do you also have a bushel, you <laughs> fucking farmer? I've got a bunch. I've got a mess of projects. And his Big head Kev. was empty right then. <laughs> oh, it's awful. He's yeah. trying to think, what project can I say I have? Hmm. He gets into all of them. Give him All a right, chance. Let's, All right, give him a chance. To the project cave, <laughs> Kev. Let me look. No, it's <laughs> empty. <laughs> now, I hear you're going to be doing a reoccurring character on the George Lopez show. Yeah, that's really fun. I, I, you know, a lot of people, actors, others say, hey, that was fun to do. You know, but many times work is not fun. You know, you make it fun if you can. But I got to tell you, George Lopez is a fun guy. He, he's the greatest. And he, he's greatest. a huge Batman fan. Yeah, who is But we got along wonderfully, and it, it was a, a good role and something I could get my comedic teeth into. Oh, shut up. And you sink your and comedic teeth out. into the role of the mayor on... Oh, no. Oh, a segue. That's a segue. Wow. That's a wow. Yeah. By the way, sink your comedic teeth, and they ripped out with polydent strings going to... <laughs> Drugs. His roof of his mouth. I wonder if he had an extra fucking comedic tooth he had to have removed. <laughs> <laughs> fucking. First of all, George Lopez looks like Burt Ward's cock. I'm tired of him. <laughs> <laughs> Someone off their cell phone. Did anyone else notice that Adam West is a superstar, but Val is just Val? Yeah. Val. Yeah. Well, superstar. And yeah. something I could get my comedic teeth into. And you sink your comedic teeth into the role of the mayor on Family Guy. Family Guy has been an amazing project. You know, it's one of the only shows, or maybe the only one, that uh, the fans ever brought back with just making a lot of noise. Right. And I think it's, it, it really paid off. I hear you also have an upcoming Disney movie. Yes, I, I did Chicken Little, and now I've, I'm doing uh, Meet the Robinsons. Right. Here's you know, the segue you could have used. Is... Speaking of little, you haven't been on television in quite a while. What's been happening with your career? <laughs> I'm just thinking of different segues you could have you could have used. I'm, I'm taking mental notes. So whatever you he want. He was to, uh... he was looking around for the bat signal to get out of this fucking interview. <laughs> Where's Commissioner Gordon when I need him? I know you look fuck. You look up in the clouds. It's just a fucking head on a pillow with Z's coming out of it. <laughs> I'm doing uh, Meet the Robinsons.